back in Atlantic City, New Jersey. We're ready for the main event. Let's go to our ring announcer, Jim Murata, for the introduction of the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the main event, the rubber match, 10 rounds in the junior welterweight division. Introducing first in the red corner, originally from Auburn, Washington, now residing in Henderson, Nevada. He is wearing black trunks, trimmed in white, weighs in at 141 and three quarter pounds. The former, two time former lightweight champion of the world, a professional record of 25 wins, only two losses, one draw, 13 big knockouts. Here he is, Greg Haugen. Haugen. His opponent in the blue corner hails from Cranston, Rhode Island. He is wearing leopard print trunks with white trim. He weighs in at 142 pounds even. He is also the former lightweight champion of the world. His record as a professional, 28 wins, just four losses, 23 big knockouts. Here is the Tasmanian devil, Vinny Pazienza. Pazienza, 10 rounds, the capable Tony Orlando, the referee. Okay, gentlemen, I expect a clean fight. I expect you to listen to my commands, and I expect you to act like professionals. Trust go go back to your corner. Let's go. Well done. Wow. New meaning to the face-off before the fight. He said touch gloves, not touch noses, did he? <laughs> well, unfortunately for Vinny Pazienza, one of the uh, characteristics of a fight with Haugen is a lot seems to touch Vinny's nose. Broken twice, it's scheduled for 12. Look for a fast start here, because these guys don't know what low gear is. We can report to you that about 20 minutes ago, there was a confrontation between these two young men in the men's room. What they were both doing there with no one else there at all is hard to understand, but they really do not like each other, don't like the comments that each other makes before the fight takes place. Well, they are competitors, and they get themselves up for this fight. Right now, what you're seeing is a different Pazienza. Rooney has decided, Kevin Rooney, his trainer, said motion is going to be the key to this fight. Move, move, and stick, and that's all you're seeing right now. He is fighting Kevin Rooney's fight right now. Can he do that for 10 rounds? I don't think so. Well, last night he told us when talking to Kevin Rooney, he said that Greg Haugen should not touch Vinny Pazienza. That jab just did. But Kevin was convinced that Vinny was that much quicker than Greg and would stay away from him. Once Vinny gets tagged real hard, he'll forget about running around and flicking. He'll go right to combat because he's too combative to keep and undisciplined to keep into this fight mode every round that, that goes. Kevin Rooney and Pazienza's corner is yelling, movement, movement. Haugen known as a great counter puncher with an excellent jab. He is not fancy at what he does. He's always there, and he can go 30 rounds. Let him go, let him go. This fight scheduled for 10. It's a non-championship fight. And of course, Bazienza fighting at 142 pounds and 30. He looks a lot bigger than at seven pounds difference in Vinny Pazienza. The last time they fought was 135. He looks very big. It's natural on him. Uh, for Haugen to carry more weight is questionable. He doesn't have a body to carry a lot of weight. Vinny does. Get off the head. Referee for this fight is Tony Orlando. Certainly a man experienced the championship fights. Twelve world title fights officiated by Tony Orlando, a fireman from here in New Jersey. Final seconds, round one, scheduled for twelve. He's scheduled for ten, excuse me. 
after the bell in round one you could see these two gentlemen do not like each other taunting each other it's Greg Haugen hands in the air and his game plan to move and uh, rob Greg of the distance that he needs to jab like right there you just that's a perfect example of the first round just when Haugen came in to jab back went Vinny and away watch him do that repetitively can he keep that up once he starts to get hammered we'll see Vinny Bazienza and the Leopard Trunks, Haugen in black. This is the third meeting between these two. Kevin Rooney just said, make him lead. And as, as Greg Haugen came up with a nice jab, over the jab came Vinny Bazienza with a right hand. Rooney hollered, that's where we did it. They have practice and practice to neutralize Greg Haugen's jab with a right hand over the jab. Of course, there have been a lot of fights that produce broken noses, but these two guys seem to produce an automatic broken nose. Haugen broke it in their first meeting in 1987 and broke it in the rematch. Vinny's eye was cut, cut badly. Left eye was cut and cut badly after the, uh, in the, uh, in the last fight. And of course, Pazienza cuts all the time. And he's never lost a fight because of a cut, Ferdy. Well, that's the key here, and he doesn't change the way he fights. Right now, he's bipping and bopping and dancing his style. Has he got the legs to do that for 10 rounds? All those questions will be answered shortly. Minute to go. Round two, this is scheduled for 10. Nice move by Pazienza. He faked one way, went the other, and let go with the left hand that landed on Haugen. Haugen's going to start to get frustrated if he can't find a target to stand still. Haugen smiles at that exchange. Yeah, but he took four punches where he only landed one. By Pazienza, good right hand. Greg Haugen told us last night he has been stung only once by a punch in his entire professional career. Sounds unlikely, but that's the sales job he's told himself. Nobody can hurt me. Final seconds. Round two is scheduled for ten. Me and Joe were two of the most feared players in football. Now we want to try more peaceful pursuits, like fishing. We brought along some cold Miller lights. The lights not some watered down. Well, Bertie, Vinny, Pazienza's problem starting already a slight cut over the right eye. There's no such thing as a slight cut <laughs> on Pazienza. That develops. And he's been told, no macho. Don't reach for punches. Keep boxing. Ooh, oh. good left hand. Now landed by Vinny. That's going to make Kevin Rooney very mad. He said, don't reach for those long things. You're boxing and beautiful. You're winning the rounds. Don't be reaching. But when he sees that little blood, and it's this early in the fight, that's going to make Pazienza fight harder. There's Ace Murata working on Vinny Pazienza's eye in the corner between the second and third rounds. Well, Murata's one of the best, and he certainly had enough experience, but nobody can stop Pazienza when he starts bleeding. He's just got that kind of blood. It's already starting to pour out of the eye, as you can see. Pazienza, 24 stitches in the first two Haugen fights, and already a cut here. Took place in the second round. We're in the third. It's scheduled for 10. But don't let the blood fool you. There's a boxing match going on, not a bleeding contest. It appears that Greg Haugen has just one style, and that is a counter puncher and a jabber. Nothing else. He doesn't do anything else. That's all. It seems to hurt him. Look at that. He took a nice right hand. He's got a chin of iron. He just won't be discouraged. He keeps coming. Now, Vinny's got the, the solution if he can do that for 10 full rounds. See that? That's not Vinny Pazienza. That's Kenny 
Kevin Rooney. And of course, Haugen trying to cut the ring off from Pazienza as best he possibly can just to get him in a corner up against a rope somewhere. But well, while he's doing that, he's blowing points because he keeps getting peppered by a jab and combinations and right hands. This is the first round where he's starting to catch on with counter punches. This is Greg Haugen. And Vinny is starting to come down off the bicycle. You just can't run for 10 rounds when you're used to being a slugger and a puncher. Pazienza told us last night he thought it was in the best shape of his life. That's one of the reasons he signed on Kevin Rooney. He trained in the Catskills. Greg Haugen trained in Salt Lake City because he wanted to train in altitude. So both of these guys, superbly conditioned athletes. Round three about to end. Blood from Vinny Pazienza's eye, but it didn't get any worse in round three. Now, when life turns up the heat, there's degree. Bob Trumpy along with the fight doctor, Freddy Pacheco, back in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's Pazienza versus Greg Haugen. And fight doctor, how you got it through with three rounds? I got Pazienza ahead by one point, 29-28. I gave that last round to Greg Haugen, who started to find uh, his jab working and counter punching effectively. Also, it saw Vinny Pazienza slowing down. He is not the uh, whirlwind that he was in the first two rounds. Pazienza, of course, in the leopard trunks. Haugen into black. And Pazienza goes to clown him again. We saw this in the first two fights, and it's something that Kevin Rooney and Lou Duna, Duba did not want Vinny to do. Control well by Ace Murata right now. Not bleeding. An exchange of jabs there. This is certainly a different Vinny Pazienza. In previous fights, he's, he's looked off balance. He lunges as, at his opponent. Vinny's doing a great job. It, he looks like an excellent boxer here. All, all credit to Kevin Rooney. He's worked with him to do that. Vinny's got to do is control himself. He's his own worst enemy. He'll revert back to his old style when hit real hard. And he's got to remember to keep to keep moving, uh -oh, holding and hitting. Oh, nice right hand by Vinny. Haugen keeps that smile on his face, though. That was a grimace of pain that time. <laughs> he got hammered, and he just wavered for a moment. Did Greg Haugen. Benny having an excellent round, seems to really be enjoying this new style. He's not getting hammered, and he chooses when to fight and how to fight and how hard to fight. Trump Plaza. This is the rematch. The third fight between Vinny Pazienza and Greg Haugen. Round four comes to a close. And as the first two have been, first three rounds, first four rounds, a war. The face of Greg Haugen and Ferdy, my question to you after four rounds, Greg Haugen, does he have to change his game plan, come with something else? He better. He's, right now, if Pazienza can keep this up, he's got the formula to win the fight. In the corner, they've told Haugen, this, you're going to sleep with your jab. You better start coming up with that jab. You better start coming forward. They're not happy in Haugen's corner. I have him, Pazienza, unofficially ahead, 39-37, giving him that last round big. Vinny still with the movement. There was a good jab right on the forehead of Haugen. Well, condition is Vinny Pazienza's name. Heart and condition. And now he's got a little style to go with it. 
Vinny on the ropes is bad news. That's vintage. Vinny Pazienza. You can't put your hand on the ropes. That's not legal. And to showboat. He doesn't need to showboat. Tony Orlando's got his hands full in there, Vinny likes to throw people around. And he's, he's doing it right. He's stopping them right now. That could turn into a wrestling match. Vinny gave him a nice elbow in that push. start throwing. You hear Kevin Rooney screaming seven, seven. He has numbers affixed to certain punches and he screams them at his uh, boxer. Seven must be jab and run. This is the end of round five. So far, Vinny Pazienza, a new fighter. In today's higher revving and hotter running engines, wear is a greater problem than ever before. Oil breakdown can shorten the life of vital engine parts. That's why there's Castrol. Castrol provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. So use Castrol, because driving today can be a grind. Castro, engineered for today's smaller cars. Castro, the official sponsor of NBC's boxing tour. Back in Atlantic City, and the eye being worked on by Lou Duba. That's the right eye of Pazienza. Off the shoulder. Okay. Straight and hard. Put some more jab. Kevin Rooney in front of Pazienza. Duba to the right. They gotta like what they see so far. Well, he just told him, don't be stupid. He said it three times. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't fight with this guy. Be Willie Pep, and he means be the will of the wisp. Punch and move. Stick. Dictate the action. That he has done thus far, except for one round. Well, and of course, in Greg Haugen's corner. Their fighter looking at an entirely different looking Vinny Pazienza. Normally, Pazienza run, rushing all over the ring with, with the fighter that doesn't have the capability to change his style. He doesn't know how to do anything different than he does. And right now, all he can hope for is a negative. That Pazienza gets tired or impatient and goes to fighting. There's nothing he can do about it. The fight literally is out of, Paz of Greg Haugen's hands. He's being dictated by Pazienza. You hear Kevin Rooney yelling in the background, get out, get out. He does not want Vinny Pazienza on the ropes. I see if Vinny was just running and not punching, you couldn't give him many points, but he's running and punching. Uh, Haugen has to do more of that. He just landed two or three shots, but he didn't follow it up. He didn't go after him. Shot hurt him, and he said, "Yeah, it hurt me. Hurt me some more." Is what Haugen said. He's a funny guy, Haugen. A little dribble of blood coming out of the nose of Greg Haugen. What a 
surprise that is. Yeah, normally does it. Haugen does it. Uh, he doesn't nick. He doesn't cut. He doesn't bruise. But Vinny's throwing an awful lot of jabs. And he, he's throwing jabs and he's throwing combinations. There's Rooney. He's right into this fight, taking every punch himself. Tony Orlando, very active. How can take? Come on, Vinny, come on. When we break, we break. Of course, there's a certain amount of desperation in both these fighters. Another good straight left by Pazienza. The loser, we're not sure where he's going to go. The winner's got a chance to go on and make some money in this business, but the loser... Nobody's really sure what's going to happen. Listen, there's always a market for fighters that can put on fights like this. They're exciting, both guys. A loss is not destructive to either one, but the big money shot is really waiting for the winner. Now we're through six. It's scheduled for ten. To this point, it certainly looks like Pazienza is in control. Never mind that Don't go down with him. Pop those okay. jabs, Greg, and hook. And, and listen, and when you get in there, throw right hooks over those eyes. And left hooks. You understand? Suck the man. Don't go down with him. Just you relax. Elbow I want three, right four jabs. Three, four jabs. That's George Chimeras, the manager, trainer, and cut man for Greg Haugen, trying to encourage his boxer to change game plans. Uh, looks like Vinny Pesianza has a mouse on his left eye, and his right eye is cut, although the cut that took place in the second round is closing. has not been a problem. Haugen's getting in closer. That last round was Haugen's round, although the movement of Vinny Pesianza was still great. The punch is starting to come together for Greg Haugen over that last round. So now unofficially it's 58-56 for Vinny the Paz. train Eddie Cotton said double up triple the jab Vinny's getting tired now step it up and certainly he is doing that Bob Trumpe along with Ferdy Pacheco in Atlantic City this fight is scheduled for 10 this is the rematch Haugen and Pazienza have each won one this is to settle it all a lot to get on the face of Vinny Pazienza and that's not that uncommon with Vinny. Oh, nice right hand, sneak right hand by Pazienza. He's been peppering. He's been peppering Haugen now. Now he's fighting like the old Vinny Pazienza. swelling in the eye and working with the anticoagulant on the other. Now, will that vision be impaired? 
Yes, indeed it will if that swelling continues. And the one thing you have to notice, even though Vinny Pazienza on my card is ahead with his style of fighting, the fight is beginning to ebb toward Greg uh, Haugen. He's beginning to get Vinny into his kind of fight. He's beginning to punch harder. He's beginning to do more damage. So it'll be interesting to see what these last three rounds are going to be because Haugen needs these last three. You need all three to win? I think unofficially, although some of these rounds have been close. It depends. Some people don't like to see a, a fighter in the uh, running posture of Vinny Pazienza, although when he runs and punches, it's called ring generalship. Uh, Pazienza with the mouse underneath his left eye. He has a cut over his right eye. There's two minutes, just under two minutes to go in round eight. And Vinny is not running. Have you noticed that this has been the quietest round because Vinny has not been up on his toes? He's taking a breather here. Haugen's, Haugen's got to come in with all the uh, hands blazing, right? Now is, now comes Haugen's turn it back. Because if, if he um, is to take command of this fight, he is to cut that distance and punch, just like he did right then. That overhand right by Haugen just missed the nose of Pazienza. There's just under a minute to go in round eight. It's scheduled for 10 between these junior welterweights. Pazianza, Pazianza with the leopard trunks. Greg Haugen in black. Nice defensive move by Vinny Pazienza. Drew a polite applause from the crowd. Now we've got the clock back. Well, that's a nasty mouse underneath. Pazienza's eye. And Pazienza has taken round eight off. He has not run. He has not dominated. He has not outpunched uh, Greg Haugen. And Haugen continues to take command of the fight. Is he making a mistake by taking a round off? It may not be his choice. He just may be very tired. And Haugen's starting to get to him with hard punches. Well, there's certainly no question that the, the altitude training by Greg Haugen in Salt Lake City is now, in this fight, beginning to pay off. Ever wonder what they mean by zestfully clean? It's the feeling you get when... That's zestfully clean. We asked some Honda owners why they switched to Plymouth Acclaim. After shopping around, we found that the Acclaim offered us much more options than the Honda did. Well, I find the Acclaim a lot more comfortable with a lot more leg room and arm room. I'm absolutely really impressed with the airbag. I work for a leasing company, and I know this car will hold its value. I think the Chrysler Corporation is really going the extra mile to go out and meet the consumer's needs. Acclaim from Plymouth, the American alternative. Left uppercut by Vinny Pazienza and watch the head of Haugen whop, and that's what you call a left uppercut that lands right on the button and back to the action in round nine. And it's getting close, folks. It's another Pazienza Haugen fight where it's going to be up to the judges' taste and decision as to whether this type of fighting, the running and flicking style that uh, Vinny Pazienza is affecting, is building up enough points to win the fight, or do they like a steady aggressor that comes in and punches hard? Well, Pazienza back on his horse here to begin round nine. Back with the movement. Well, he got chewed out when he got to the corner. He really got chewed out because they didn't want him to stand still and fight with Haugen. Haugen took that round, and it's getting close. 75 to 77. Favor of Pazienza unofficially on my scorecard. for that, but only a 
move there with his hair. But this tactic by Pazienza has certainly frustrated Greg Hogan. He just can't get him in the spot where he can really nail it. Now there is Hogan's got him right on the ropes, and Pazienza invited him in, but then thought the better of it, started to move. He's still on the ropes, and what is Greg Hogan waiting for? Hogan is saying those punches aren't hurting. No, but they're certainly piling up points. What a hook by Pazienza. Another one. Oh. Hogan slipped, but that punch certainly helped. And this is where he can lay a trap. Hogan can lay a trap for Vinny, who's overconfident right now. He's built up a big lead in this round, has Pazienza, and all he's got to do is move away to take this round, but he's got over, he's overconfident right now. The crowd wants Pazienza to knock Haugen out. And this is a guy that fights for the crowd. Pazienza fights and responds to the crowd, and that's bad sometimes. Haugen would love to have Pazienza stand there and try to knock him out. He should do this for the rest of this round. That's it. That's the motion that Pazienza needs. Hogan, on the other hand, has to walk in with his punches. Well, Pazienza, to this point, through nine rounds, has executed his game plan beautifully. Paz knows it, too. It's Willie's head. Okay. You got this? Okay. It's Willie's head because you're boxing so good out there. Hey, here. Around, you box, box, you box. You got that there, baby? You won, you won every fucking round. That was a big Last round. round. Last that round. That was a big round. Hey. Give me a little bottle. Yeah. You hear it? It's Willie Pet now, baby. Give me a little bottle. Give me a little bottle. Give me a little bottle. You need this Wait. round big, and I want to see you. You got to jab and you got to throw right hands. Don't fight with him. He's desperate. He's going to come out and do what he did this round. Crowd piece. You Suck some air. Put some gasoline on. He's gonna be, he's gonna be, he's gonna be after you. Another one. You know, the crowd's gonna be after you. Beautiful. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, you got this, Willie Pep? Hey, third What's second Willie Pep. Hey, 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 I think that's the only way that Greg Hogan can pull it out. But in his corner, he wasn't told to go out and do or die. He was told to keep the jab going and try not to get in a punch out with him. But his, Greg Hogan's got to know that he's behind in this fight. Well, apparently, his, his corner didn't think so. His corner thinks he's winning. He says, avoid a shootout. This fight is scheduled for 10. We're in the 10th. These gentlemen have now fought 40 rounds, or are about to fight 40 rounds. That's what you that's what you call getting to know each other. These guys know each other. But the last thing Greg Haugen expected was a dancing master today. Willie Pep, he didn't expect to see. Instead of Vinny Pazienza, he got Willie Pep. Be interesting to see if Vinny would carry this over. There's a very big money fight out there called Boom Boom Mancini and Vinny Pazienza if they make that fight. Oh, nice uppercut by Vinny. Got Hogan back on his heels. Pazienza, this is the best he's looked in a couple of years. Absolutely. I, and I, you have to give credit to Kevin Rooney. Kevin has trained him to move and, and kept him on that track. He will not, he has not let him fight a Vinny Pazienza fight. Now, if his ego just doesn't get the better of him in this 10th round, well, he hasn't got long to go, and he looks like he's dancing, so both these guys got very, very strong chins, so it doesn't look like it's easy to knock either one of them out. This means all he has to do is continue to dance and bip and bop, and he should get a decision, but you never know, folks. We're in the world of boxing. Each judge has his own opinion. The three judges at ringside are all from New Jersey. 
and it's a 10-point must system. The referee has no judging in this fight whatsoever. Advantage again to Pazienza, who scored many more punches than did Haugen. The Tasmanian Devils out here. Benny Pazienza's fans yelling and screaming for their superstar, the best-known franchise, sporting franchise in Providence, Rhode Island. And credit to his cornerman, Ace Morata, who has kept that cut small. No mean feat when it comes to Vinny Pazienza. And Pazienza's nose, to this point, not broken. Haugen making a comeback, but it's way too late. stations 45 years later the event they'll always remember becomes the heroic saga you'll never forget the daring the love the courage judd nelson max foncito and pat morita in the epic anniversary presentation of hiroshima out of the ashes monday on nbc From the sound of things, Cheap Auto Parts is having a summer sale, which means you'll find extra savings. Like Pennzoil Motor Oil, 79 cents a quart after rebate. Fram air filters as low as $2.99 each. Prestone Advanced Formula Coolant, $4.49 after rebate. And remember, Chief's got more batteries to fit more cars and trucks than anyone. <coughs> but the sale ends August 12th. <coughs> so you better step on it. And this is our 1991 Chevy S10 EL. Let me point out a few features. Electronic fuel injection, power front disc brakes, rear wheel anti-lock brake system, double wall steel, front and rear. Five speed, full gauges, tinted glass. What do you think? So, uh, what do I get for this price? Let me show you. Electronic the 91 Chevy S10 EL. For value, nobody's brakes. winning like today's Chevy truck. Would you like to save 50%? Would you like to pay half as much as at other stores? Munden's incredible incliner sale. The best selection in prices on incliners anywhere. All with solid hardwood and armor frame and longwear fabric. Three-piece corner sectional, 586. Three-piece curved sectional, 854. Two-piece sectional, 883. High back three-piece curved sectional, 886. Inclining sofa, regular 900, 393. Zero down payment or zero interest or lease to own. Free delivery to 200 miles. Munden's, 1221 Jacksboro Highway, Fort Worth. By the way, are you a Munden's customer? You ought to be. Alice Carone on Texas News 5. Back in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Haugen and Fezienza again go the distance. And for the decision, we go to ring announcer Jim Murata. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision, and it is a unanimous one. Judge Rocky Castellani scores the fight 96 to 94. Judge Deborah Barnes sees it at 98 to 92. Judge Eugene Grant has it at 97 to 93. All for the winner, the Pasmanian Devil, Benny Pazienza! Benny Pazienza! Pazienza executed a perfect game plan throughout the fight. And just as the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, had it 97-93 unofficially, the majority decision to Vinny Pazienza. And let's go to the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, we're on. Come on. 
I'm sorry, but we got to get on. Come Benny. on, we sis, we did open your eyes now. Benny. Everything worked out great. But you, you thought that you could do that for 10 full rounds that, dancing Willie Pep style? Freddie, I came in, I used my game plan. I want to thank all these people that kept the faith behind me. Everybody started losing belief in me. That's why I fought so hard. I wanted to prove my ability. Thank you, and I'm sorry you had to put up with all the shit you've been hearing over the years. We did it, and we're coming on strong. All right. Next, hopefully, we get Julio Caesar. Tough what, fight, but we can do it. Was the credit to Kevin Rooney, who laid out your game plan, That's and you followed man. it? Kevin and my father are the only two who kept the faith in me and believed me and stayed with me, and, and I just appreciate that so much. Well, congratulations Thanks, on a good man. win. Thank you. All right, and now back to uh, Trumpy at ringside. Okay, thank you, Ferdy. There's Kevin Rooney, the man who came up with the game plan, and you heard Vinny Pazienza tell his mom, okay, you can look now. His mom, Louise, will not watch the fight live, but uh, once the fight's over, she'll watch it on tape. And now with a loser, Greg Haugen here again, the fight talk here. Say when we get on. It doesn't do you any good to say when we're not on. All right. You think you won that fight? Yeah, I thought I was the aggressor through the whole fight. He didn't come to fight, man. He ran the whole time. But that is a form of boxing. That's Willie Pep style. That's Muhammad Ali style, run and bip and bop. Did you he think he won the fight? Like I'm sorry, but I did think he won the fight. I thought it was more ring generalship. I guess he won the fight then. No, he got flat robbed. He got the, right, the way he run all fight. over the joint like a thief. He I never threw no fight. A couple times he threw some flurries. The people got wild about the flurries. He chased him all for 10 rounds. And all right. And from a disgruntled manager to Bob Trumpy at ringside. Okay, thank you. Bertie, that's George Chimeras. Not happy with the decision, but Greg Haugen leaves a loser. And he has he has a, he's got some big fights ahead. He wants Julio Cesar Chavez. Now, that would be one a lot of people would pay for. On September 22nd, Sports World will have Jorge Paez versus Tony the Tiger Lopez from Sacramento. 12-round IBF 